To find your angle pieces, go down your kit. You're gonna have your columns on top. The next section, there's gonna be five beams. And the beams look just like columns, except they have more of these dotted lines. And you have two angle braces. And these are the two that we want and that I'm gonna work with right now. We're gonna come back to the magazine and we're gonna score these. This is gonna make two long ones and two short ones. So I like to score everything first and then I'm gonna cut them apart for the angle pieces. The angle pieces have some more different marking that we've used so far. Again, there's this small line here. We're gonna cut on this one. We're gonna cut here like an across on these lines. It's gonna give us four pieces. And then there's more cutting to do. So I'm gonna start by cutting on this piece. And then I'm gonna cut all the way through the middle. And then I'm gonna cut these pieces here. So I'm gonna short and long. Now these pieces have some solid lines here, solid lines we cut on. So we're gonna cut these two short pieces, these two short pieces, and that's gonna allow us to do some folding in a little bit. So we're just cutting an inch there and an inch there. We flip it around, we're gonna cut an inch here and an inch here. This one has a little faded line. I must not have cut very well on that one. So that's gonna be a long one. The short one's gonna look just about the same. We're gonna cut that solid line there, solid line there, here and here. We're not cutting on these dotted lines. That's gonna be a fold in a little bit. So now, I have my two angle braces. We're gonna fold them in, like we did in the column. They're shorter, they fold pretty easily. And we're gonna take two pieces of tape on each one. Tape this together so it's a nice rectangle shape. This is the piece, we cut this notch here so this folds up like that and a 90 degree fold, that folds up. This folds down. So we now have these two pieces folded. These dotted lines here we fold on. The dotted lines here we fold on. So fold, 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 fold. That these are the bottom, and so they're gonna go like this. And when we put it on one of our bases here, these overlap, this goes like this. And when we tape that together, that's gonna to be a really nice angle brace. It's gonna keep that from bending that way. So I always tape the, what I call the base pieces first, a piece of tape there. And then I'm gonna tape right here and then I'm gonna tape back on the other side. Pull that in. The back side. So we got the small angle brace. The next thing is to take this larger one and we're gonna fold it just like we did the smaller one. And the larger one and the small one are gonna to work together on one beam. So we have the longer one, and just like we did before, we're gonna fold this down at a 90 degree angle there. That's folded. This gets folded down. The angle piece folds back. This angle piece gets folded back. And now we're gonna turn this 90 degrees. This is gonna go, and the tall one fits over the short one. So again, I always put a little pressure press down on it. 
tape one of the feet down first. You don't want to tape it like that. Make sure it's looking vertical. And then put some tape there to hold that together. So you should put a long one and a short one on each side, all four. That's going to make this really sturdy.